so many people have the misconception that young people, particularly college students, don't vote because they're complacent, they're lazy, they want to party, they don't really care. And I think, you know, some of that really sort of has to do with their, um, you know, the, the, the inadequacy of civics education throughout their, you know, uh, you know education uh, leading up to college and in college. But what I think very few of us really realize are the extraordinary impediments that have put in, uh, in the way of uh, college students and young people who actually want to vote. I mean, things as simple as um, students who were living in a dormitory who could really register to vote and vote in the, uh, in the states in which they are going to, to college would have to produce, let's say, a utility bill when they don't get utility bills, so they can't get them. States where you could actually um, register with a picture ID um, of an expired gun license, but not with a picture ID of an out-of-state uh, driver's license. Um, you know, there are, there are just infinite examples of the, the um, um, uh, inexcusable roadblocks that are put in the way of young people to vote. Maxim gave a number of them, very good ones, um, you know, uh, Pennsylvania requiring, you know, uh, uh, you know, ballots within envelopes that are within envelopes. I mean, you know, what's that all about? You know, if you have uh, affidavits and witnesses, whatever, it's like, you know, it's, it's ridiculous. And how many, how many people are not going to do that? So in any event, I mean, I think we um, uh, believe so much in the Andrew Goodman Foundation because we believe that really, um, uh, you know, young people have to be educated and they have to be aware of the importance of, um, of voting in this country. It, it's second nature to us adults, you know, here, but it's, it's not to them. And then I think it's our obligation to try to help them to do it when they want to do it. Um, and that's, and that's what this incredible organization is all about. And I want to add something to that. If you train them now in college, they will be voting the rest of their life. And voting is the only way that we really, us lay people, really have a voice in our democracy. And if we want to maintain our voice and speak out, this is the way we do it. So we are training the future voters. And that's what we have to think about. So it's not just this year. I know, Artie, you were concerned about, you know, uh, up to November 3rd. Yeah, we are concerned. There's no question you know me, Artie, so I don't have to tell you. But we have to think about our children and our grandchildren and their voting and continue to vote and to speak out. So that's why another reason it's important to train these students and get them civically involved.